time for another vegan products review. I think this is the fourth one, maybe the fifth one. It's been a few months since I did one of these, so I've got quite a few things here. So the first one for this video, Honest Stand. Uh, this is a company I had not tried anything from before. I don't know what else they make other than dips, but they had several of their dips at Grocery Outlet. I think a lot of the stuff will be <laughs> in Grocery Outlet. Oh! <laughs> Is that not the chunkiest boy? That's Gizmo, eight years old. He's Grandma's kitty cat, and he is... Oh, he's so sweet. He's such a good boy. Has not scratched, even tried to scratch or bite my kids one time. He is just the most well-behaved cat. For those who don't know, I used to be a pet sitter, so I've been around. I don't even know how many cats. This is the best-behaved cat I've ever known. So we got the smoked cheddar and the garlic parm. The garlic parm was fine. The smoked cheddar was pretty good. I didn't need a lot of it because I don't, I'm not big into cheesy stuff for the most part, except, except for the vile life Parmesan. I just want that and it's out of stock everywhere. But my five-year-old loved that stuff, loved dipping anything, broccoli. So yeah, it was gone really quickly. And unfortunately we can't find any more. That's kind of the problem with grocery outlets. Sometimes you get stuff that it's just not really available anywhere else. I don't know, maybe it's at New Seasons or something, but oh, the place is so expensive. I'm not going there. Field Roast Stadium Dogs. Speaking of expensive, I think I saw these at Whole Foods when I went for my yearly uh, Atal Mango run. Again, very expensive, but so delicious. I think they, to me, they actually tasted like the you know, the, the, is it a stadium hot dog? I don't know. Growing up, there were like your regular hot dogs and then there were like the really yummy ones. I don't really know what the difference is, but they taste like the, the really, the really yummy ones. And yeah, I liked them. Decent amount of protein, if I remember correctly. The hot dogs that are at Kroger, I think it's Sweet Earth. It's got like no protein. What? Wicked, the brand Wicked. I have a couple of things from them. They've got like 15 products or something at Kroger now. There's a whole section with all of their stuff. We tried their little onion mayo. Oh wait, I think we have it. It's the garlic vegan mayo with caramelized onion. I don't even think I've tried this. I don't really have any interest and I don't use mayo a lot anyway, but partner loves this stuff. Puts it on sandwiches, puts it on like tenders with sriracha. <laughs> Point is, then I saw that they had ice cream. I thought, well, that's good. So maybe the ice cream will be good too. So I got the vanilla and the mint chocolate chip. I think they also had a chocolate and maybe one of her, oh, a cookie dough. Number one, the packaging is just terrible. It's just really ugly to me for like ice cream. Are you, are you back, sir? And like the ice cream is like, it looks like it's out of focus. <laughs> The texture is actually nice. It's nice and scoopable and fairly creamy. It's not icy at all, but the taste is just wrong. I don't know if it's the, what is it? They've got something weird in there. Oh, lupin protein isolate. What is lupin? Didn't I try it? Lupini? Lupini beans? It's just got like a, what is that taste? So I'm pretty sure that's what it is because everything else in here is pretty you know, standard. For vegan ice creams and also with the mint chocolate chip it's like real bitter to me the chocolate is just not tasty and now for a good ice cream i'm really excited about this one because i think this is a good alternative to the brave robot for those who can't have whey or don't want to eat whey uh, i would highly recommend the wonder milk is that so delicious yeah i think it's so delicious it seems like they're trying to do like the uh what was it the silk next milk, basically trying to have a milk or an ice cream that doesn't have an almond or a coconut taste that is more uh, similar to cow's milk in taste. And it's really good. Again, the texture is actually really good. One of the better textures for vegan ice creams. It's not icy at all. It's not super, super hard when you take it out of the freezer. And the taste is much more neutral. You don't taste coconut or almond or anything like that. They have five different flavors. I think I tried four, the buttery pecan, cookies and cream, chocolate cocoa chip and vanilla. Ooh, they also have a strawberry. I didn't see that one in store, but the four I tried were all really, really good. They have a milk as well, Wonder Milk. Again, I think trying to be also like the Silk Next Milk. Uh, I haven't tried it because the protein isn't great. I mean, if you're trying to really rep replicate cow's milk, you know, I think it needs to have more protein. And the Next Milk was so disgusting to me, I'm kind of afraid to try <laughs> to try the Wonder Milk. They also have these cones in the Wonder Milk line. 
uh, vanilla peanut sundae and salted caramel sundae. Number one, the box only comes with three, three good size cones, but still it's three for like $5.99 or something. So it's kind of pretty ridiculous. I tried the salted caramel sundae. That's what they had. Again, the ice cream and everything's really good. The chocolate's really good, but the caramel, it's like, it's got kind of a bitter thing. I don't know. I find that so delicious caramel uh, is not very tasty. It's, it's often kind of bitter. So uh, I would like to try the, the peanut one. And I would love it if they made mini ones, like the Trader Joe's mini cones. Oh man, that'd be awesome. More ice cream. Of course, the Trader Joe's oat ice cream sandwiches. I made a video on Instagram um, about them and asking for other people's opinions because both partner and I think they are not good. They have a weird flavor. I'm not sure what it is. There's an aftertaste that's not very good and the ice cream is not creamy at all. It's super, super icy. And also, and this is <laughs> very weird personal thing, I guess, but whenever I would eat ice cream sandwiches as a kid, my favorite part was like peeling the cookie part off, right? Like kind of how you do like an Oreo cookie, but I would just peel it off and eat that and then eat the other cookie part and the ice cream. I don't know, but with these, you can't do that. It's too like soft and, and kind of crumbly. You can't just peel it away. So very disappointing. But a lot of people commented on the video saying that they actually liked it. So, you know, taste is subjective, of course. Oh, and my kids like it, but again, they don't know any better. They've never had a, a real, real ice cream sandwich. <laughs> Good pop cookies and cream popsicle thingies. They're fine. I don't know. I don't think like they're fine. <laughs> they're not revolutionary or anything. Kids thought they were really good. We also just got the uh, the chocolate ones. Those were also at grocery outlet. Very, very coconutty and kind of bitter to me. So yeah, not not as good as like a real fudge sickle. Beyond breakfast sausage. Now we've been eating this stuff for a long time, but I don't think I've ever really talked about it. I love these things so much. Not the Lynx, but the patties. The Lynx are not very good to me. The patties are fantastic. And it's really interesting because growing up, I always thought I hated breakfast sausage because of the like flavoring, whatever that mix of spices is. That's what I thought I didn't like, but the Beyond Meat sausages have that exact flavor profile, but I really love them. So I think what I hated was just the actual sausage, <laughs> the actual sausage taste, because man, these are so yummy to me. They're so salty and savory and the texture's really nice. Oh, I, I could probably eat them every single day. Oh, this was an interesting, interesting find. So the Daring brand, they've got a few different products that I've seen. They're regular chicken strips, they're breaded, and then also a lemon one. We've tried, wait, no, have we tried the breaded? I think we did, but my favorite is just the plain because it is number one, very tasty. I like the flavor a lot. It doesn't taste like chicken or anything to me, but it's got a nice neutral kind of meaty thing. The texture is much better than most all of the vegan chicken products I've tried. In fact, the one thing I don't like is when I'm like cutting into it or trying to maybe kind of shred it. It's got a real greasy chickeny thing and it's kind of unsettling to me, <laughs> but it's really good. It's, it's really, really tasty. Very, very expensive. It's like such a tiny bag. I think there's like two or three servings in there, but if you're struggling to find a good like chicken alternative, that isn't just some kind of breaded nugget or something, uh, definitely check them out. Raised and rooted sausage. This is not my favorite thing. It doesn't have a fennel flavor or anything like that, but it's got a weird taste. I'm not sure what it is. Uh, Raised and Rooted is the Tyson vegan line. It was vegetarian, but they've made it all vegan now because I guess no one wanted it <laughs> with egg or whatever. Or no, it was like a mix of vegan, of like soy and beef, something like that. I guess no one was really interested in that. So they made the whole thing vegan. Very cool. But yeah, good amount of protein and the kids really like it, but not for me. Oh, corn. Corn has a new vegan product, maybe a couple new ones. These chicken dippers, I think they have a spicier one. And then they have the one that we've tried, which is the pineapple chipotle, which is also fairly spicy. <laughs> My kids were like, no, too spicy. But they are really yummy, really good texture. The breading is delicious. They actually taste like pineapple. And yeah, I can't recommend them highly enough. They're really good. And a nice change of protein options, right? Because it's not soy or pea, it's the myco protein. Is that what it's called? Howl mac and cheese 
roasted garlic and herb is the one I've got. It's it's a cashew based sauce. They had a couple other options, I think. This is another Whole Foods buy while I was getting all the alpha mangoes. Oh god, it was so gross. The kids didn't like it either. It was so unbalanced. It just tasted like someone trying to make a vegan mac and cheese for the first time and just throwing in like way too much nutritional yeast, right? And like lemon and not putting in any sweetness to balance that. It's just like, I don't know, it just tasted like someone's first try at making vegan mac and cheese. But no, it's a product that's on shelves that supposedly is like chef made, just bad. Veggio Bears, Veggio Bears, Veggio Bears, another grocery outlet find, both the fruity and the sour. The fruity ones, I think probably the best textured vegan gummy product I've tried. Vegan gummies tend to be either too hard um, or a little bit wet, <laughs> like too soft, too wet. These are really, really good. They're nice and soft. They're not wet at all. Really, really good texture, really nice flavors as well. And the sour ones, I don't like the flavors as much. And also they're not sour at all. What, what is that? 90% of these supposedly sour stuff I try are just not sour at all. I'm not saying they have to be like warhead sour. They don't have to like blast your face off or anything, but like a little bit. Trader Joe's butter. I was kind of excited about this one because sometimes we can't find the Miyoko's and the price was reasonable. I think it was like $3.99. The taste is okay. It's, it's not like Miyoko's. It doesn't have like a, it doesn't have a more buttery sort of flavor. It has more of a margarine sort of flavor. So it's more like your earth balance, something like that. Uh, but the main problem for me is just how hard it is. When you take it out of the fridge, it is so ridiculously firm. So it's just really obnoxious to use. We don't leave butter out all the time. I don't know. I just don't, I don't like doing that. Um, the Miyoko's is a little firm too out of the fridge, but you can still use it. You can still spread it on toast. Uh, the Trader Joe's is no. And again, doesn't taste as good. So yeah, I think we still have a little bit in the fridge and we bought it like two months ago. <laughs> I just keep using the Miyoko's instead. And then a bunch of Sweet Earth stuff. Their meals, they have several options. I want to say 10, something like that. Most of them are vegan. A few are not. I think they have cheese in them. We have tried the curry tiger, the veggie lo mein, the butter chicken, the uh, bulgogi, Korean bulgogi, and the pasta puttanesca. Oh, and the Mongolian beef. Pretty good for frozen foods. They have a pretty good amount of protein. I think there was one that we didn't get because it didn't have much protein at all. I think it was the butter chicken that shows like a bunch of peas on the front, but the actual product had like four peas in it. So that <laughs> kind of disappointing. I didn't try the bulgogi. Uh, partner was kind of disappointed because he thinks I would really, really like that one actually, but I was like not in the mood for it, was not hungry. I don't even think I filmed it. The same with the pasta puttanesca. I think he said that one was good too. The most noteworthy one, unfortunately not for a, a good reason, was the Mongolian beef. I posted this video to Instagram. It was not what it looked like on the package, not even close. This was not expired. I think the expiration date was like December of this year. We did get it at Grocery Outlet though, so maybe that's why it was at Grocery Outlet. I don't know. Uh, there were a few people who left comments saying that they had it before and it wasn't like that. It seems like the the uh, grounds or whatever the, the uh, mock meat in there, it like broke down and just turned into a <laughs> soupy kind of, oh god. Partner said it was good, but it was, it was just soup. I did not try it. Shocking. Finally, maybe not super exciting. It's just a salted caramel almond cashew with pumpkin seeds, 180 degree smart snacks. I've never heard of this brand. <gasps> so good. <laughs> Talk about like caramel done right, vegan caramel done right. This caramel flavor is so yummy. I wish the So Delicious stuff used their caramel flavor instead of the the more bitter whatever they're doing over there it's basic it's just nuts and seeds and sweetener but man these are so yummy another grocery outlet find again i've never seen this brand before so this will probably be like the only time i ever have this which is very sad often when you have like nut cluster things that you buy i find they're like really huge and kind of hard to eat but these are just these are tiny you can just pop them in your mouth 
And that's it for now. There's still a bunch of vegan stuff that we want to try. The Miyoko's liquid pizza cheese, that sounds so gross to me, but we really want to try that. And the Beyond Meat jerky, I still can't find. My store says they have it. They don't have it. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give the video a like. Uh, subscribe if you want to subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to be notified when I upload. Thank you so much to all my patrons over at patreon.com slash unnaturalvegan. And I will have a new video soon. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs>